Meanwhile, give me some mail. Okay. Um, Here you go. This letter comes from Stuart Wilkerson of Owings Mills, Maryland, and it's very relevant to what we do. Okay. I always try to be relevant. <laughs> what does that even mean? All right. Read it. Dear Joe Bob, I've been a horror fan all my life. I'm 46, but I've only recently started hearing the term elevated horror. What makes something elevated? I think I know what they mean, but I'm not sure. Love the show, Stuart Wilkerson. Okay, Stuart. Elevated horror is a subgenre of horror that comprises horror films that take place at altitudes higher than 1,000 feet. Why are you so, saying that? For example, cue the winged serpent. You know, the monster lives in the belfry of the Chrysler building, which is just over 1,000 feet up, and much of his mayhem occurs on the rooftops of buildings and among all the skyscrapers of Manhattan. He's so, asking a legitimate question. And, you know, an obvious example of elevated horror is snakes on a plane. There you have horror... For your 40,000 feet up. It's not to be confused with the movie actually titled Horror at 37,000 Feet, which William Shatner considers to be the worst movie ever made. But actually, any kind of airplane horror would qualify. Anything from Airport in 1970, Wes Craven's Red Eye in 2005. I, I would even include uh, Final Destination because where does it all start? It starts with the plane crash, right? Altitude in 2010, Panic Button in 2011. Do you just want me to answer his question? I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that the word elevated should not be taken literally. So, okay. So, elevated horror can also be the Walking Tall series, like, you know, due to it's tall. I guess, or yeah. van Phantasm, because it has the tall man. So, any movie with Angus Scrim would be elevated, <laughs> even though he was only 6'4", which is not ridiculously tall, because movie magic, right? You really like being a smartass tonight. Just tonight? I mean, okay. there was a movie in 2016 called Tall Men, about tall guys in black business suits that would follow you around if you used a black credit card. Somehow I missed that one. Okay, I'll, uh, all right, I'll be serious. No, you won't, but go ahead. <laughs> Elevated horror is a ter term used by people who hate horror to describe horror films that they like. I think it's a little bit more than that. Nope, that's pretty much it. I, I think it's horror films that have social and cultural themes. Darcy, the 1931 Frankenstein had social and cultural <laughs> themes. Okay, good point. All the silent films had social and cultural themes. Phantom of the Opera, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Horror has always had social and cultural themes. So I think it's people talking about recent films. Yes, it is. It's people who hate horror trying to justify their love of a recent horror film. So thank you for writing, Stuart. And that's it for us tonight. I'm Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the best sermons are lived, not preached. And the drive-in will never die.